Alright, working class music. Uh, Marla and me. But how's Hey! Oh, man. Yeah. Alright. Let's do this. Are we okay? <laughs> no. But, you know, we're here. Hi, I'm Tia. I'm one of your hosts. I'm Jason. The, uh, the other host. The other host. Speaking of not okay, welcome to Working Class Music. <laughs> now on to something that's better than okay. It's actually pretty great. We're looking at the Marla amp made in Asheville. No! by hand here in America, by Anthony. So this is essentially a take on a Princeton, if you will. And we're all gonna play it individually so you can hear how versatile this amp is and how it can handle a bunch of different styles. Yeah, essentially whatever you throw at it, this amp can pretty much take it. You've got a high, you've got a low, and it takes pedals very well. That's what I get to do, the pedals. So what this amp is, is essentially a take on a Princeton amplifier, but more so in the price range of a Blues Junior. I don't wanna say it's better, but it's made in America with higher components, they're handmade. So I mean, for the money right now, the price is $7.99. In about mid-March, it'll go back to the original price of about $8.50, $8.60-ish, that range. So if you're interested in a Blues Junior type amp, at least give this a listen. Just hear us out for a moment. That's all we're doing here. Or listen to all of us play it and then go and buy it. Yeah. yeah. All right, on to the sounds. <laughs> what you're doing what's your what's your deal dude hey everybody it's Xander the sound guy I'm just going straight in with my SG deluxe to demonstrate this amp sounds really good with nothing else so little clean little distortion not touching the amp just touching my guitar That's sick. <laughs> cool. That's good for me. Any of you nerds got a pick? Is this in your mouth? Maybe. All right. Good. All right. Okay. Ah, oh, so for the folks at home, I am using a Kramer Pacer. Got a couple of Mythos pedals. The Argos, the Barbara Gordon Oracle. Let's play some shit. Oh, wow. All right. I like this thing.
Xander, there was a capo on this. What'd you, uh, what'd you do with it? Xander, is there one on any of these guitars? Ah, here we go. I lied. I had it. <laughs> I'm misplaying this thing. God damn, dude. This is like such a riffy guitar. Whew. Anyway, so yeah, that was me. And uh, somebody's next. I am Tia. I'm one of the hosts. I'm playing my jazz master. I'm playing a uh, minim, old blood noise, and a ditto. Yeah.
you go. You got a resolution cord. <laughs> Don't get used to it. My name is Jason. I don't know where I was going with that. My name is Jason. Um, <laughs> Ambient, post-rock stuff, that's what I do. I play with a lot of effects. Um, that's what I'm doing now. Actually, I'm talking now, but I will be playing with effects soon. Um, the guitar that I'm using is uh, pretty sentimental. I, I don't use this one a lot on the channel. It is my FSR, Squire Classic Vibe, Telecaster, <laughs> Custom, in Olympic White. I'm done. All right, we're back from playing in the past, but from the future, not really. And I swear I'm not having a stroke. Final thoughts. Um, oh, you know what? Cause uh, I, I swear I'm not having a stroke. <laughs> I was gonna say, can you do this real quick? I am um, feeling a little tight right here. Check face, um, arms, um, should we call an ambulance? Yeah, it's fine, it is, it is what it is. I lived a good life. And we are back. Yeah, final thoughts and first impressions. I think you've had more time with this than I have. Yeah, it's true. So take it away. I like it a lot. So I didn't know the price for a while, and I'm not saying that knowing the price changes my opinion because my thought was that it was a very clean sounding amp and whatever pedal I put in front of it, it did very, very well. We kind of did a little showcase of, you know, each of our styles and you kind of got to see the build up in a sense of like Xander just went straight in. Nelson used some overdrive. I used a little bit of like modulation and then, you know, Jason brought out the big, you know, computer over there. It's smaller than usual. That's what the Six. That's a lot of money. That's all. We're not here to talk about that. We're not here to talk about that. Anything that you put in front of it, the amp took like a champ. And that's really why I just liked it from the jump. It just sounds great. 
it's pretty easy to dial in a good sound. Like I put in my SG, it sounded great. I played my Strat, it sounded great. Playing through the Jazzmaster, it sounds great. The focus is on literally just clean amplification. You want it to sound like your pedals. You want it to sound like your guitar. You want it to sound like everything but, and I like that. For that price, an American made amp, it like, it's mind blowing. It's just like, if you're in the market for a Blues Junior or a Princeton style amplifier, please again, consider one of these. Cause I think it knocked it way out of the ballpark. That's just me though. So I like it a lot. That's really the short of it. Guess it's me. All right, all right, audience, come closer. We're gonna have a coming to God moment. Are you gonna kill us? <laughs> yes. We're all gonna go meet Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. But uh, here's my thoughts on this. So for the price, this amp is kind of hard to beat. I know we discussed in the previous videos for the uh, Sunzera that I think it's one of the best amps under a thousand dollars. This might be the best amp under a thousand dollars. For me, it, it checks everything. I like my amps to be simple, like, you know, my match list is three knobs. This is two, so that's even better. <laughs> so if we can get it down to one. Yeah, we can get it down to one. <laughs> oh. But like, that aside, it just sounds really good. It sounds like the perfect balance between a Tweed and a Princeton. Yeah. Like, oh, it yeah. just sounds really, really good. It's just uh, so clean. Yeah. I wish I had a better word, but yeah, it's just and, so clean. And honestly, like, at the end of it, when I was jamming, I was like, I'm gonna try something I normally don't. Yeah, let's push a little further. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I've got the telly because different tuning. And I was like, well, I haven't tried drive with this. Let me try drive. And it just like scorched. Yeah. And it's just like, it's an awesome amp. Like, I think to get an American made high quality component amp at this price point is insane. And I'm not saying it just to pitch it ourselves, but like, it really is that good. Something to keep in mind, I would say this would be like an excellent studio amplifier, or if you're playing with a drummer that's not heavy handed. <laughs> For the people who care, there is no Tolex. There is no real finish. It is a very raw looking and feeling amp, but that's because everything that matters is from the sound. You can fight me on that. This and the blue one mm -hmm. are prototypes. Oh, okay. So I think that might be subject to change. I don't know. Even so, I like that kind of like raw just look. Like, that's my opinion. Yeah, that's, that's all I got. I can't say anything else that I haven't already said, except for the sale, which we will have <laughs> down below with a link. You can get yourself a free working class music hat with the purchase of one of these bad boys or girls or various genders. One of these bad persons or one of these bad things. One of these little bad <laughs> little <laughs> Yeah, what Tia said, that works. So with that said, it's time to close this out. I'd like to say thank you to Hefe for making such a wonderful amp and considering us just to do this. I didn't know how this was gonna go and I have been pleasantly surprised, so thank you. Other than that, you know, like, subscribe, comment, Patreon, merch, and don't forget the link below, free hat. Free hat, everybody likes free hats. Yeah, everybody wants Jason's free hat. Jason's got a hat, I've got a hat, you could have a hat. We're all gonna sign it, too. Yeah, we're all gonna sign it, if you want that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Adios. Later. North Carolina. I was gonna say, is it in North Carolina? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little stoned.